Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano that I'm going to give you a tour of is the crown jewel of all of my little jewels, piano jewels that I have in my store here. I'm using it as my concert piano, my, my recital piano up on stage because it's my very favorite. And let me just say before I give you a tour of this particular piano that um, as a technician, and I, and I still do between three and six pianos day in, day out, out in the field for customers and recording studios and that sort of thing, that with almost uh, 20 years experience of doing that, uh, I have tons of experience with pianos like, like Yamaha and Kawai um, and the Yamaha C7, which, which is a fantastic piano that I've, I've been in love with for a long, long time. I would put this one up against a C7 any day, and I've worked on many, many, many of them. I love the C7, and this one is right up there. And, and hopefully you'll hear by the end of this video what I'm talking about. Okay, um, I'll talk about High Loon briefly, and then I'll talk about some of the features on this particular piano, um, kind of its construction and that sort of thing, and then, uh, and then I'll play it. So High Loon in general um, is is an award-winning brand that I'm proud to be associated with. The last couple of years they won Piano of the Year two years in a row, which is uh, an award distinction given by Music Merchandise Review. Uh, they've been chosen by the Piano Technicians Guild for use in, uh, in testing for their, their action models. Um, most recently, and there are others too that I'll gloss over just for the sake of, of expediency. Um, most recently, their, their head designer, George Emerson, or Frank Emerson, he goes by, um, he goes by George, um, or, or he goes by Frank, rather, um, who, uh, who, is a, who is an awesome designer and become a friend of mine over the last few years. He, uh, he was just chosen by Steinway. He, that's, that's the kind of caliber this guy is. To, uh, he was commissioned to design a new piano for them. Anyway, High Luna is on an absolute roll, and and I'm I'm very proud to to be associated. Um, okay, let's talk about the uh, the particular features. So let's have a look inside this piano. Um, this this piano is seven foot two. The uh, soundboard is German, uh, solid German spruce. That's the soundboard right there. Um, it has a has a cutoff bar on the base, or also known as a fish, um, which which gives uh, tonal superiority. Um, really, really nice tone. That's a that's a dead zone. In fact, I I'm in the Highland factory a few months ago, and I did a video. So if you wanna if you wanna hear me talk about uh, about that, um, in particular, you can you can check out that video. It's it's hopefully I hope informative of. of the, uh, benefits. Okay, back to this piano. We've got uh, this um, is the uh, the bra base bridge. It's solid, solid maple. This is Stephen Palello's design. Um, the idea being that it decreases the weight. Um, it's strategically placed for quality of tone. Then you have you have the uh, um, the treble bridge. It's vertically laminated maple, and the and the the cap is European. Uh, beach. We've got hand notched uh, bridges, which again I do a video in the factory when I was there a few months ago, talking about uh, talking about that. Those guys were awesome. I was watching watching them do the uh, uh, the notching. That takes a lot of skill. The hammers are German. A guy named Abel Norbert Abel, who who has a, a fantastic reputation in the piano industry for for his hammers and then the uh, uh, inner and outer rim this is that's that's this right here this is the uh, this is the rim and then the, and then there's another rim underneath here those are both also uh, made of maple strings are German Roslo which which is which has a reputation for for very very high quality um, and then the lid Let's look at the lid here. This is beveled and reinforced, beveled, which, which has a, just a, a really nice sleek look. And it's also reinforced really tough. And then it also has this, which sometimes I demonstrate for people and they freak out for a split second. Um, 
Originally, that was created as a safety feature, and that's and that's frankly its uh, its greatest asset. But it's also uh, it, it benefits also in that it's just very light. Most people, the uh, this lid is just super super heavy, and and where you've got the you've got that, it just makes the lid very very easy to lift up. My little ten-year-old daughter can do that. Okay. So I think I think I've hit the main points on this piano as just kind of an anecdote, anecdotal. Uh, I don't know. Uh, paragraph or two. I've had lots of um, lots of artists come through. Local artists. I, I've even had a couple nationally renowned. Classical, classical musicians come through and play on this piano. Invariably, they sit down and they say, oh, Hai Lun, hmm, I've never heard of this. And, and I can tell. I can tell they're skeptical and they're thinking, oh great, I've got to do this concert tonight on this, on this brand that I've never heard of. They play it and they're like, Wow, this piano is awesome, and I've and I've had quite a number of them comment after the piano or after the concert is over how much they how much they particularly enjoyed this piano. I think part of those comments have to do with um, expectations. You know, they've got Hai Lun, what's this? It's not a Steinway, and then their expectations are more than surpassed, and so so they, I, that's how I explain their. It's just a fantastic piano. Okay, well, let's listen to that bass. It really roars down here. I hope you can f feel that in this video. I can, it, it just really, it's a powerful bass. I love that.
a fantastic piano. Please come in and try it for yourself. Thanks for watching.